Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, wow, I'm bleeding. Look at that. My toe's bleeding. What the heck happened? <laughs> That's so weird. That was kind of weird. You guys like my awesome sandal tan? I, work, I worked very hard to get that sandal tan. Um, so I'm just going to eat a delicious uh, spinach and turkey and provolone sandwich. You're jealous, I know. It's delicious. On five grain bread, no less. Then I got to go find a bunch more costumes uh, for the video. Oh, you guys want to see? A better look at this. Doesn't that look so weird? It's like, oh, you guys hungry? Yeah, help yourself to whatever's in the fridge. Oh, does yeah, that's a brain. Don't mind that. Just keep, just keep going. What are you doing, Marley? We're going on a bear hunt. I'm not afraid. It's a beautiful day. Uh oh, grass, tall, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> Sorry, every time I go to the woods, I always think of that song. Like, oh, going on a bear hunt, I think is what it's just called. And my aunts used to sing it to me and my sister all the time when we were really little. <laughs> I just, for some reason, it just popped into my head. It was like the corniest song, but it's kind of funny how like the, the corny stuff really sticks with you for the rest of your life kind of thing, right? So I just got an email, and I'm um, sorry, I thought there was a, a bear behind me. And um, I got good news. Guess where we're going this uh, December? Uh, actually, next week, we're gonna go to the Tron movie premiere. We got invited by Disney to go film the red carpet at the Tron um, premiere. What are you doing, dude? Oh, you're doing your poop dance? Is that what it is? Looks like a dinosaur when she does that. Uh, <laughs> she looks like a T-Rex. Rawr. And then we're gonna be out there, we're just gonna stay. Uh, from I guess the 12th to the 13th and we're gonna go to the Project for Awesome live show. If you don't know what the Project for uh, Awesome is, it's the Vlogbrothers and it's a big giant like charity event and this year's gonna be bigger than ever because um, they're actually gonna do a live show and with a bunch of your favorite YouTubers and it's gonna be on the front page of YouTube for like five hours or four hours like a live show on the front page of YouTube. I'm actually really 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 excited to go to the Tron movie premiere because you know, Tron is just a badass movie altogether, and you know, the dude's in there, so it's gonna be amazing. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. I'm not afraid, it's a beautiful day. Uh-oh, mud, thick, squishy mud. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. We have to go through it. Squish, squish, squish. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, so I lied. Look, a cave. A big scary cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We have to go through it. Quick, tiptoe, tiptoe. Wait, what's this I see? Oh my gosh, two big ears, two big eyes, one wet nose. It's a bear, run, 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 quick. It's a bear, it's a bear. Wait, wait, guys. Back to the house, up the stairs. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey. Quick, a bear! <laughs> some nuts. Wee! And under the covers, we're safe from our bear hunt adventure. I swear I'm not going crazy. This is why I love vlogging in public. Well, sort of public, in the woods in public. Public, I, I, you know what it is? It's the cold weather. Every time it gets cold, I get really, really hyper. It's just like, it's funny, because Zoe does the same thing. Every time it gets cold, she starts like romping around a lot more. Cold weather rocks. I want to move to like New York or something. Should I move to New York? New York. <laughs> I think if I did that in New York, they'd probably kill me. There you guys are. Where'd you go? Get out of the ditch. I turn around for five seconds and then it just like disappeared. Luckily Marley's white and I could see her. So I was reading in the comments in yesterday's video um, about my camera, you know, the pixels and the Baby Mafia video. <laughs> you guys are still trying to find it. A lot of you found it, but uh, a bunch of you guys are still trying to find it. A couple of you guys suggested doing this. Uh, basically opening the sensor manually, holding it upside down with the cap on, and um, it letting it remap itself. So I'm doing it right now. And once I stop talking to you, I'm going to take a photo and see if it, we can actually fix this pixel situation. I really hope so. In the next couple of videos we shoot on Saturday, we'll have the same thing and you guys can see if you can find it again. All right, fingers crossed. All right, I just took a photo. Holy, I think that actually worked.
Seriously, thank you. Thank you guys for being so technologically awesome. Oh, that saves me at least two weeks without my camera. So Ali just got home. Okay, well, I'm gonna test the video. And the following is going to be a uh, video clip and see if you can, uh, those who actually know where it is, see if it's still there. So I'm gonna cut to that footage and see if you guys can see it, because I can't and you guys might have better better vision than me. All right, do you guys see it anywhere? I really love it. I think it was right around here on the thing. So I don't know. Do you see it? I can't. All right. Nice. <laughs> All right, well, okay. I'm just going to film into the darkness now and see if anyone can see it now. That was creepy. Allie's going to show you her little trick that she learned from her grandmother. It's actually kind of funny. I was like, whoa, that's actually, this is the end result right here. Right there. Right what? Yeah. Right there. See, it's like a little wine glass. This is something that my grand, my dad's mom taught me. She was just really creative with everything. Like she saw an opportunity to make something cute uh, out of literally everything in the world. <laughs> and this is the best example ever because this also means you get to eat candy. So I loved making these with her because it meant that we got to eat a bunch of candy. So you just take any standard candy wrapper. It can be a Hershey's Kiss, um, anything really, just a wrapper like this. You start by eating the candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't feel that's really necessary. And that's, I don't all, <laughs> and that's all you do. No, just kidding. Then you take just your, you just take the flat part of your nail, and you start at the center, and you start making like little lines out from the center. And basically, you're ironing it essentially. Mm -hmm. And the, actually, the pressure, I'm eating the chocolate now. I'm talking. The pressure from your nail actually flattens out the foil. Okay, so basically, the end result is nice and smooth. A really flat. Piece. Smooth as a baby's aluminum bottom. Exactly. And you put it on your pinky up to your knuckle, um, the, the big knuckle. And you wrap it around. <laughs> the big knuckle. <laughs> well, there are several knuckles. Okay, so once you have that wrapped around, then you basically just pinch the bottom where the tip of your pinky finger is, and you twist it, and then you take the bottom part and you flatten it. Dun 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 dun. Shape. And you can pop it off your finger. There. Now you can impress people while you're eating candy. Now you can be I, like, Mom, I'm being creative. I did a bad job on the bottom, but I kind of goofed on that. I might not stand up. I can just... Actually, can you drink? Oh, yeah. Ding. Do so you guys can have some? That's just a goofy little thing. I mean, kids love it. I loved it when I was little. There. Teach your kids. I have something to confess. No lights on. I have something to confess. I broke my tripod. I was twirling it like a baton, and I broke it. But I have- Is that really what you were doing? Is that how you broke it? No. No, I didn't. I was using it properly, and it didn't break at all. <laughs> I gotta get a new tripod for this weekend. I have these, like, uh, coupons. Uh, do you say coupons or coupons? What do you say? Not coupons. I think I sometimes say coupons. Coupons. Why? I don't know. I don't know. What, do you guys ever say coupons or coupon? I know it's coupons. If anything, it'd be cupons because the word couple is. Well, it's the same know, thing as like really... caramel and caramel. No, Sometimes because, because the orthography oh. is different. But some people say caramel. Some people say caramel. Oh. But this Wait. Is I gotta crazy. take this. I'm sorry, guys. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> what is? It's cool. It's like the coolest little tripod. Look, it's like a it's like a study cam. All right, so yesterday we made the little Jello brain, as I said, right there. But the thing is, I don't think this looks like a real brain. It's too it's too red. You know what I mean? Oh, look at it oozing. So our good friend, uh, our good friend Andrew. Uh, apparently, his mom made made one of these just recently for Halloween. So we are going to try it now with peach instead of. The strawberry, and maybe we'll see which one looks better. I'll let you guys des uh, decide which which color looks better. So I'll start that now. You guys want to hear something funny? When I was in elementary school, I used to always try to think of like little schemes or something. I don't know. That, I guess it's not really a scheme or a scam, but I used to always think of ways to to make money. So I used to. I'm not no joke. This is really funny. I used to buy Jello packs, like like you know just regular Jello packs like this. And then what I would do is I'd add sugar, just like you would make um, Jello or Kool-Aid or whatever. 
<laughs> I bet that was bugging you. And then I would put them in little baggies. I'm not kidding. I'd put them in little baggies. I'd measure it out, put it in little baggies, and I would sell it to the kids. Basically, it looked like I was selling drugs. But it was really funny is I made a killing. I mean, by a killing, I probably made like five bucks. But to like a seven-year-old, a six, seven-year-old, that's pretty good. Do you know that? I was a uh, sugar peddler. I was a sugar dealer. I was a sugar dealer. I know. Charles Trippy and Ali, cause you and me, we're CTFXC, gonna share the interwebs with Charles Trippy and Ali.